Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Chashi Forex. In today's video, I'm going to share with you something extremely, extremely valuable, which is understanding the bias of the market. Yes, exactly. There are a lot of people that struggle so much on understanding whether the price is going high or is it going low? Is it going up or is it going down? Yeah, I know I say the same things, but that's the whole core concept of this video. So let's get started. Now, so many people nowadays will tell you all over social medias, right? How um, is structure a lie? I mean, I, I don't ask me why, but I see so many people uh, flexing on social media saying, oh, structure is a lie because it's all about liquidity. It's all about, you know, understanding institutional, blah, blah, blah. Okay, perfect. I mean, they might have their own reason and I'm not against it. I'm not saying the structure is the best or I'm the best whatsoever. I'm just saying that I do respect them. However, everyone has their own way to see the market. And most importantly, the only thing I believe is the only thing that I can give some logic to it, all right? Because if you don't show me some logic and if you don't tell me why and what for, I cannot ever understand or even uh, accept that type of approach or even ideas, right? And this is what is going to be about today. I'll show you the logic and how to use it behind the structure to, to whatever structure you're using because at the end of the day structure is used to identify your bias and then you can implement your supply and demand you can implement your smc you can implement you know whatever you want to do is the same things okay now first of all what is structure and mostly what is the difference between the order flow and the structure now when it comes to the order flow okay it's pretty much you opening the graph the first thing you see is the flow that is going higher or the flow that is going lower, right? Now, this can be in any time frame, okay? It can be, uh, it doesn't matter even the time frame because what it matters is just the price, okay? And when price moves from point A to point B, it creates a sort of flow. It follows a flow, okay, that helps the price to reach from one point to another one. So it doesn't actually matter about the time frame. It, what it matters actually is the price okay and when i say the time frame i'm not saying about the timing like the session i'm talking about this the one above right the different times that you have when it comes to about the structure though structure is where you need the time frame so structure again let me say that again structure is where you need the time frame because structure is it, it forms within the flow that it creates the market for the price to reach a specific level okay so let me simplify that for you better okay so if you have this price, okay, let's take this as an example. If you have this price, the blue line that is going higher, is going higher because it might have to reach some type of, I don't know, supply over here, some type of order block over here, some type of support resistance, whatever you name it, whatever you call it, it's fine, it's beautiful. It can be anything. So now if you open the graph, right, without putting any time frame, then you will see probably price, this blue line that is going towards the upside. And that's the flow the market is creating within the price. But when it comes to structure is, this, this time frame, so it's like a smaller time from order flow that is forming within this blue line. Okay, so in this case, it's the orange one. So now, without complicating too much about the order flow and the structure, let's just stick with the time frame. Why? Because when it comes about the order flow, okay, it's like more understanding the institutions, um, the way they move, the way they deliver the price from one point to another one. And we, as a richer trader, we will never know, okay, when certain price will reverse, when certain price will continue from what specific price level or from a specific zone. But one thing that we can do though, is using the structure, the multi-time frame analysis, and then following what they're doing. So basically reacting after they shows us whatever intention they have. Now, I know it sounds everything a bit complex and a bit of confusing, no worry. In a bit, I'll show you a ton of example, ton of uh, explanation on how to properly understand this. So now that I gave you a little bit of intro about the difference between the uh, like very much basic definition of the order flow structure, like, like this is the simplified, of course, that we're not going in depth in the theory side, okay? Let me tell you, right, why and how you should be using the logic of um, combining everything together. So first of all, the intention of structure is for you to create a narrative. When you use structure and you try to understand the different approach, like different combination within the time frame, the pure intention is for you to build a narrative. And what do you mean by that is that you have to be very good on building the narrative starting from higher time frame all the way to smaller time frame. And why this is important? Because once you start building a narrative, you can identify two important factors. And what are these two important factors? The first one is understanding in which part of the phase you are in. So if you are using the structure, 
what part of the structure are you currently looking at? Is it going to be the retracement phase, right? Or is it going to be the expansion phase? Now, this is the most important thing. And this is a part one, right? And the part two is understanding, when you identify that, is understanding how far, okay, this price can reach to a certain level. And how do you identify it? It's just understanding. So let's say that you are bullish over here, right? So if you want to take a buy, how far do you think this buy can go? Like, how, let's say that there is no price range over here. Let's say there is no drawing over here. You're taking the trade over here. How do you identify that? Well, you identify it based on the understanding you have around the POY, which is the point of interest. And where is this point of interest? Is always going to be to the left. Now, you see how I'm already starting up building a narrative here, right? I'm already telling you that First, you identify which phase you are, which is counter or pro trend. Secondly, when you take the pro or even the counter, you have to also identify how far this can go. So this already, like already starting from a structural perspective, I'm able to start building step-by-step -step certain narratives, like certain, certain stories that will help me to understand what is currently going on. Now, this being said, let me go back to the very basic, which is why it's important for you to know the counter trend and the pro trend. Because if you don't know in which part of the market you are and you're not able to fully identify, right, the face and the, um, the level you are at right now, you will definitely hit a lot of losses um, that is just going to be against the flow, okay? So what do I mean is that when you are fully able to identify um, where you are right at the specific moment in time when you open the chart, right, you have to fully understand if based on the narrative, the time frame you're using, if you are taking the counter and the pro trend. So for example, if this blue line is my four hour, right? So sorry, one second, let me change the color over here. All right. So if this one, the blue one is my higher time frame narrative, right? And I'm expecting price to going higher. Before it goes higher, I know what, that it has to retrace. Now, if I had to retrace, how does it retrace? In, in a blue line, so in a four hour, you might gonna see just a simple one candle, but in 15 minute, you might see a break of structure. Now, just because in 15 minute it broke the structure, it does not mean that even the blue one, okay, has changed. So we are not going bearish. It doesn't mean, because I see a lot of people, when I see that 15 or five minute structure, they're like, oh, now I'm going sell. Why? Because um, price has changed, it's bearish, so I'm taking the sell, so I'm taking all the way down here. No, you can You cannot do that because you, you're just trading against the flow. I said what you should be doing if you are a scalper, you can take a trade, of course, but then you have to be very, very cautious at the very next important demand zone, which is this one here. Why? Because this is the demand that releases order into the market to push the price all the way up there. And then once price comes here and you see a small break of structure again within 15 minute, five minute, or a smaller time frame, then you can take the trade. And this trade now is aligned with the pro trend, which is with the four hour. So therefore is safer for you to take that. So if you are a scalper, you probably can take that. Or even if you are a scalper, you can still go to the pro trend. But me personally, for example, I love to go pro trend. And another thing that you have to understand is that pro trend and counter trend, okay, can be also counter and pro. And what they mean is that your counter trend sometimes can be a pro trend and your pro trend can be also counter trend. Why this? Is because of the time frame. Because you have to understand the time frames are like a, they're like you know the Russian dolls. Okay? You keep opening and you're just seeing the smaller and the smaller and the smaller and the smaller size. Structure is the same exact things. So however, what you have to understand that there are certain counter trends that whether you're a scalper, swinger, or you are um, intraday trader, you can still trade them. And what are those? Are basically anything above four hour uh, daily or weekly or even monthly. Why? Because just think about it, okay? So if, the, for example here, this cell, this high made this low. Now, you know that this retracement is going to be a counter trend, but what if this high that made the low is a monthly high that made the low? Like, will you really wait for like months before price retraces and then, you know, you take the trade? To continuation no you wouldn't do that because you don't even know how many months it's going to take before price gets there so what you can do in that time you can scale it down so from monthly weekly daily all the way to four hour one hour 15 minute and then you can do the same thing so now you know that you're taking a trade here based on what understanding that the monthly is bearish so you cannot take a trade and trying to go above that you can take a trade you can still make some beautiful beautiful rr right and then once you get somewhere around here you can then sell it back so those are the counter trend and pro trends that anyone anyone can take it. Why? Because it's based on the higher time frame. However, if you are trading intraday and you are doing like five minute, one minute, one hour, so let's say this is a one hour and this is a one minute, 
then you have to be very cautious because yeah you can still take it but then you have to understand that price moves quicker so you know there is um uh, I, I think this this is something that a lot of people don't understand is that time plays a very very important role and when i say about time again it's not about sessions yeah of course sessions are important but when i say time frame is about the time frame like the multi time frame analysis plays a vital important role and uh, it's literally on you to understand how you can put all this time frame together to have the most simplified version in order for you to take the trade. Now, me personally, it took me more than one year constantly back testing, forward testing, and keep practicing to understand how to put everything together. But no worry, I'm, I'm gonna make my best to simplify that for you. So now, after I told you all of this, now let's start to, to the chart and let me show you a bit of example so you can start training your eyes as well and try to understand what I'm talking about over here, okay? So let's stay on this chart. I actually marked up some key point over here. So let's go to M15. Now, check this out. In M15, right, so from this chart, like basically, you can see these blue dots are basically the swing structure. For me, this is the swing structure, right? So you can see the price now, the order flow. So if I come here in the morning, I open the chart, I can see the price is going higher. So what is going on over here is that price, the order flow is going high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. So it's going higher. So what is the thing that I told you earlier? That yes, you can take the counter trend, but then you cannot take a counter trend here here or here thinking that you can go all the way down here you can go all the way down here or for example i don't know uh take a counter trend um over here and then thinking the price is going all the way down here no it's not gonna happen why because price has just switched from bearish to bullish so therefore if you take a counter yeah you can do it but you have to get out as the first very important demand which is on here but if you take the pro trend then yes you can go all the way up because now you are going pro trend with the higher time frame. So your smaller time frame is aligned with your higher time frame. And actually I got a trade over here. That was for a nice one to 20. And here we go. Now you guys can understand how I break down all my one to 20 trades that I've been sharing so far on my YouTube channel. All right. So now that we can see that we have our swing structure marked over here, the very first thing that we have to identify is this is the range that we need to be interested about. Why? Because in a higher time frame, right? Even if you, sorry, even if you zoom out a little bit, you can see the price is going higher. So the order flow, the swing order flow, the biggest uh, time frame is going to the upside. While the medium time frame, which is these blue dot lines, is telling me that I have a break. So I have a break to the upside. We're going higher, higher. Now, once price reach a specific zone to the left, like whether let's say supply, demand, or whatever, bam, I have a break, and then retracement and now this break it doesn't mean that it broke the purple zone over here right so like the swing zone over here this is just the beginning of the retracement phase now look it's the same exact things literally I, I did on my drawing over here right you see that like look look at this all right sorry let me let me try to put them together so you guys can understand even better right so if i bring this to a little bit closer all right look this out check this out right don't you see it's the same exact thing like look at this this is the high this is the low this is the high, this is the low. We have a break all the way to the upside. And then what did they say? Just because the price is breaking over here, it doesn't mean that now it's going to break all the way down here to the blue line. And that's exactly what happened over here. Look, price broke this, okay, this, this low over here. And now this break is telling me that there is a retracement coming all the way down here now in the demand phase. Now forget about the time frame. I know we are looking for 15 minutes and uh, whether it's one hour or whatever, but the same, the concept is this and it applies for any time frame. And that's why you have to be good on bl blending time frame to understanding what's going on within the specific time frame. So if this is my four hour leg from low to high, I know 15 minutes is making high, low, high, low. It's going all the way down here, right? And then what is the next thing that I will be expecting when I see price reaching an important demand zone? So when price reach all the way down here, right? Is to see price breaking what? This high. And when price breaks this high, what do you think I can do? I can then look for a trade from here to all the way up there. Why? Because I'm expecting a new higher high, right? But now, I know when I told you guys that you can take counter trend based on the time frame you're trading. So this one here is from uh, June 23 to all the way to, oh, sorry, is it? Yeah, sorry. Is it, is, no, no, no. It's, the, it's Monday 5th of June to all the way to 29th. So this is like a one month worth of price action. So the same exact things I did here from this high to this low, understanding of the phase, which is retracement phase, expansion phase, I can do the same exact things in a smaller time frame. So let me give you a bit of example uh, over here. Let me just clean a little bit. Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So now let's take in consideration this range over here, right? So check this out. This range over here. So we know we are bearish. Why? Because we broke this low. And now what happened is that the same exact things. We're going to start having the retracement of this leg. So it's like low, high, low, high, low, high. 
low high eventually this broke to the upside now you guys already know why it broke the upside because we know that even in a bigger picture than this range we already reached a demand zone so it was expected the price can potentially break over here but let's forget about this one over here now right let's look at this on the right hand side and we have this specific range now within this range now i'll show you the fractal power right within this range you can see the same exact thing is happening what is happening well check this out so we have this low we have this high then what does the price do is that price comes here it fails to break over here and then it breaks this this smaller time frame so if i go down to five minutes right you can clearly see that price is look at this price breaks through it right so breaks this this internal um order flow within a smaller time frame and then it's showing the intention of going higher look at this it breaks retrace and then it goes higher breaks retrace go higher and like check it out it's the same exact things in the smaller time frame right so now if you if you if you look on M mm5 only what can you see in M5? You can see that this is going high. So this is like a movement all the way to the upside. The order flow is bullish in this case in M5. And what you guys can see, the same exact drawing that I did before. So you have your range. Oh, check this out. You have your range, your low, your high. And now what do you think is gonna happen? Price breaks the structure. Can you take a trade? Yes, of course you can take a trade. Where? Well, in this case, you can take it from the supply, right? Look at this. You have a beautiful break over here. You can take it from this seven, right? And then where do you think you can target it? Well. Here, why? Because that's the flow, right? Look, let's go back to the drawing because I want you guys to print that on your mind and start back testing it because this will help you so so much. Like, look at this. It's the same exact thing as I'm doing on my. You see, it's this scenario. So you have high, you have low, you have high. Break a structure. I told you to sell. You can sell all the way here, and then you can buy if you see any confirmation to the upside, right? So if you just focus on this specific time frame, I mean, you can see that it, it just played out the same exact every single time. Look at this, right? So what can you see over here is that price breaks the structure you can sell it maybe you can target it over here over here it, it depends on whatever poy you use according to your rules then you can see price is doing high low high low high low high low high low boom break of structure can you take the trade yes of course can you take the trade <laughs> and look at this it's not the same exact things that I, I was drawing previously right so where do i go now you know that this this is the low the mid the high this is the retracement and now you can expect at least as a minimum for price to make a new high which we had in this case, which is for one to four. And then again, look at this, price retracing, high, low, high, low, high, low. It came all the way to the extreme, breaks the structure. It doesn't give us any entry. And then where does it go? It goes all the way up there, right? So potentially, if you put your high time frame narrative to the left and you put your smaller time frame to the right, you could potentially target this even further higher. Are you guys understanding what I'm talking about here? Like, do you see the similarity? Like the same example I did within this price range using five minute and median time frame is the same exact thing we did in higher time frame with M15. What is it? With M15 and four hour. Okay, so that's my four hour range, four hour leg, and that's my M15. And I did the same exact exercise. You see, it's all fractured. And that's how you have to understand how you can put everything together, right? For you to take a trade. Now, eventually, this trade that I've taken here can have a potential to reach even all the way up here, right? You see, look, one to 15, a nice one to 15. And, and do you see how this is going close to the way I'm taking my one to 20? It's the same exact thing. So this being said, guys, I'll leave it to you. I'll probably make a part two because obviously what I just shared with you now is just the very minimum of understanding of the bias and understanding how it moves and it creates a certain story for you to take the advantages. Obviously, there is a lot more to it but don't worry for the time being, just use this, what I shared now and I showed to you and try to practice that the same exact way I did. Don't overcomplicate it. Identify, open your chart. So identify your range, understand where price is going. Try to understand where you are currently, which is the retracement or the expansion phase. And according to that, try to put all the time frame together.